I want to try to show you how to grab lobster safely from the boom nest and how to measure properly. I know it's kind of hard to try to show you middle of the night from top of my kayak which I brought got uh, nine lobster between my wife and I that I'm going to use this uh, three and one quarter inch lobster, California lobster scale or gauge to measure and the way I typically handle I'm sure there's many way but I have to use a I guess two hand passing hand I try to grab from the back I'm the right hander which I've tried to grab from back and see the, how this sharp uh, toenails or whatever because they can hurt, really hurt your hand so you don't have a proper glove I typically either use a uh, two mils or something uh, bug uh, proof and I try to grab the front part with my left hand that way I can use my right hand now I try to have one gauge hanging around my neck and I would click from the back and make sure it clicks that means it's keepers if you don't hear this clicking sound it's not good I'm gonna try to pull up and see if we hit this eyeball that's no good that you always want to start from back and click that's a keeper I'm gonna do one more another one so sometimes it's hard to see it especially when you get a bunch of lobsters and I use my right hand to grab the back and left hand to grab the front side and try to measure from back this is it. just see how it's barely clicking that's keeper side you put gauge against the back and click so if it's uh, too short, you're going to hit the eyeballs. Then you, you see the eyes moving. That's not good. That's a, you ought to click the hard shell. So make sure you follow the regulation because, uh, especially at the beginning of the season, you'll see a lot of uh, Department of Fish and Wildlife <coughs> matching every lobster coming out of the ocean. Thank you. I'm going to grab this big lobster and try to grab the back from back that way you can securely hold it and grab from the my left hand front part and measure from back this is probably about almost four inches long so you know as you get more experience by just looking at it you know they are keeper size but you want to just make sure you measure one more time and as I say, always try to have one gauge around your neck. And I also have a spare gauge inside my kayak and my wife at the same thing. She has one either on her safety vest or on her neck. This will be our dinner tonight.